So measuring the GDP. And I'm going to start us off with a little concept called by value added. By value added. Or we could just abbreviate it, abbreviate it to value added. So now there are two things I want you to know first. Yeah. And it is the difference between a final good and an intermediate good. An intermediate good. And these two things are pretty self-explanatory. Final goods are intended for sale. So they're intended for expenditure, for spending. Expenditure. What I mean is that they're meant for you to enjoy and spend. Enjoy and spend. So, some of the things that comes right off the top of my head is a computer. For example, a computer. That's a final good. We enjoy surfing the net and spending our time on Facebook. And an intermediate good is intended for production. Intended for production. So an example of that could be plastic or flour. You could have use plastic and well plastic bags for your sandwiches, I guess, but I guess that might be a final good because you're using it. But I don't know, maybe the plastic for your computer. That would be intermediate good. Or the flour for the bread that you eat. That would be an intermediate good as well. Now, what is value added? Value added is essentially revenue minus cost of intermediate good. Cost of intermediate good. And let's just say, abbreviate this to R for revenue minus CIG for cost of intermediate good and this would require some pretty intense math that we will do right now and after you get this you'll feel like a genius so the example is a wheat farmer picks and sells and sells two hundred dollars of wheat of wheat to the flour factory to the flour factory now the flour factory the flour factory of course they buy the wheat, they're going to use it. They're going to use the wheat. And they're going to make that wheat into flour. And they're going to sell the flour. Sell or sell $500 worth of flour to customers or consumers like you and me. Who actually make their food. Well, I don't really make my food. I buy it at the store because I'm lazy. And they sell another $800 worth of flour to the bakery. To the bakery to make my food. That's what I'm talking about. Now the bakery would use the flour. Use the flour. Okay. They're going to use the flour and they're going to make some bread or something. 
and they're gonna sell fifteen hundred dollars of bread to customers to consumers and the moral of the story is if you're making fifth if you're selling fifteen hundred dollars of bread to customers you should really be starting a bakery yourself but enough with lame jokes let's get started so value added so what the heck did a wheat farmer do the wheat farmer what did he do so he picks and sells two hundred dollars of wheat to the flour factory so the revenue for him is two hundred dollars and we assume that it didn't cost him anything to 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 pick to to grow the flower so we're not we're we're assuming that he didn't need uh, fertilizer or anything and then the value added of the flower factory the value added of the flower factory or well, the flower factory they bought they sold he sold five hundred dollars worth of flour to the consumer, and they sold eight hundred dollars of flour to the bakery. So, in a total, what they made is they made thirteen hundred dollars, and they had to spend two hundred dollars to buy their wheat from the factory and produce it. So, if we take what they made, and we minus how much they spent getting the materials so they made eleven hundred dollars in total and lastly the value added of the bakery bakery is fifteen hundred dollars see they made fifteen hundred dollars and remember they bought eight hundred dollars of flour to the to, to, of flour from the from the from the flour factory so eight hundred dollars is what they bought the flour for to make it into bread to sell it for fifteen hundred dollars to us and in total they generate about seven hundred dollars worth of revenue great that's the super hard math I'm talking about you give yourself the pat on the back and what does this have to do with GDP well the total value added total value added is two thousand dollars eleven hundred plus seven hundred eighteen hundred plus two hundred equals two thousand dollars and this two thousand dollars are also the GDP now a little side note that I want you guys to take note of and that is that value added is always always with underlines and quotes is always bigger circle it because it's important value out value added is always bigger than profit it's always bigger than profit because because it doesn't count costs count and that is where I'll stop for this video and please come back for the next video